Hello Auggies Worldwide, I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Ed, K6SDW. Very short question. What's more important for reliable HF communications, antenna or RF power? His vote is the antenna. And he says, great videos, Dave, in 73. Well, you're partially correct. Let's take a look at the whiteboard here. Okay. You have a transmitter and you have an antenna. Okay. Now, this antenna has gain, maybe, usually for a dipole or a vertical. We call it one. Um, uh, zero, rather, zero dB dipole. This is dipole. Okay. The zero in decibels is the equivalent to unity gain, meaning it doesn't gain or lose anything. The transmitter power, of course, can be anything. Um, you know, let's say it's 100 watts, because that's very normal for today's commercial transceivers like the reference station IC7300 is a 100 watt transceiver. So what you're getting here is 100 watts coming out. Let's see, a dBm, 30 dBm is one watt. So we're gonna multiply that by 100, which is 20 dBm db 20 db so we have 50 dbm coming out here 50 dbm all right now this goes out to the antenna the antenna has zero gain and so what is fed out to the electromagnetic field is 50 dbm of power now, note how this works. Let's suppose that instead of a, a regular dipole, we put in uh, something like a, um, let's see. It's possible to take two, a full wavelength antenna, uh, split it in the middle um, with one quarter wave of uh, coax, not coax, ladder line. Uh, this would be zero ohms. This would be a very large number of ohms. Uh, each one of these is one half lambda, oh, one half lambda. And um, then you feed it at the 50 ohm point. This gives you two dipoles next to each other and gives you gain in one direction. So your usual dipole, uh, if you've got a dipole that's this direction, your gain looks sort of like this, okay? And this right here is unity or one, so you'll be less than that off the ends. Now if you do this, and by the way, MFJ does make these antennas, I've got one I'm gonna, we're going to be giving away uh, later in 2022 um, for 20 meters. If you do this with two dipoles like this, you're going to get a pattern that is more like that. So you're going to have some gain, about 3 dB of gain. Okay, so now let's see what we've got over here. We've got 50 dBm um, plus 3 dBm from the antenna. That's 53. That's 200 watts. Okay, so the equivalent of 200 watts goes out in that direction and less along the side because of the lobes and the directionality of this antenna. Now let's suppose you put a nice Yagi in up here. Okay. Uh, 
And this Yagi has 10 dB gain. Okay? 10 dB reference to dipole. Okay? 10, and that's a D, dipole gain. So you've got 50 plus 10 plus 60 equals 1,000 watt equivalent going that way, wherever the Yagi is pointing. Okay? It's pretty nice Yagi. 10 dB gain, that's a little hard to achieve on HF sometimes. Okay, but that's the equivalent of having a 1,000 watt station with a dipole. Now note what I just said. 100 watts plus 10 dB a gain is equivalent to a 1,000 watts with a dipole that has no gain. Because if this is a 1,000 watts, that's 60 dBW, dBm. Um, and you add to that the zero from the dipole, and you still get 60, okay? Whereas if you do this with the antenna, 10 dB gain, and 100 there, you will get 60. It's the same. Now, the trick is this. If you have a 100 watts radio driving a times 10 or 10 dB amp going up to a Yagi, you know, that's 10 dB, you'll get the equivalent of um, 1,000 watts, 10 dB, 10 plus 100, which is uh, 30, no, 60, 50 dBm plus 10 is 60, plus that is 70 dBm going out. Now, what about a signal coming back in? The signal that comes in skips the amp and goes into the radio. So if this is like minus 50 dBm, okay, the very weak signal, and it comes in here, and it's not amplified going that way, you don't get that 10 dB there. This is why if you add the 10 dB here, you get the minus 50, by the time it comes down here, it's minus 40. It goes into the radio. That's uh, two S, almost 2S units, 10 dB, of uh, gain coming through here. So, which is better, antenna or amplifier? So what's more important for reliable HF communications, antenna or RF power? The classic answer to that is the antenna because if you improve the antenna, it helps you on receive. However, if you on transmit, simply increase the power that you are transmitting without changing your antenna, you are increasing uh, your range and uh, making the signal easier to understand on the other end. Now, the general best practice is that if you're having trouble hearing people, uh, like during contests and so on, it's time for a better antenna, okay? Now, if you find with that better antenna that you're hearing people, but they don't hear you, you keep going back to them and they don't hear you, then it's time for an amplifier, okay? So the fact is antenna or RF power um, is on the transmit side, helping somebody hear you, but uh, the extra RF power will not help you hear them. The antenna is what helps you hear them. Hope that helps. And there you have it. We're having another giveaway in the month of December. And here is how you can enter the giveaway. This is the giveaway. Don't worry, we'll get it wound up for you. This is an MFJ17754 uh, trapped antenna that does 20 and 40.
Now, this was one of the antennas that I considered for use uh, in the reference station. However, it doesn't cover all of 40. It covers half. You can pick which half. You can see that I've got the uh, wire kind of coiled back on itself to shorten it. The 17754 comes deliberately too long, and so you have to uh, shorten it and so they provide these little things with uh, uh, screws here that uh, attach the wires together and you can use those um, to do your adjustments or you can just bend the wire back like I did there. This is made of bare copper. It has been outdoors for quite a while. It is in perfectly good working order and this will be uh, giveaway number five. Giveaway number five. And so, here's how you enter. Send a postcard to Dave Kassler, KE0OG, PO Box 98, Ridgeway, Colorado, 81432. On your postcard, a QSL card, or a single sheet of paper in an envelope, give me your name, your call sign, and the address you would want to ship to if I draw your entry, and um, your phone number in case I have any questions. And uh, this could soon be yours. This thing is, although it works on 40, it's only 42 feet long instead of 66 feet long because you get a little bit of loading in the traps right here. Okay? That could be yours. I ask you to support this channel, helping us make more videos, paying Callum's salary, um, and all the things that we do here, um, shipping the giveaways and so on. Um, I'm relying entirely on the support that comes uh, from the channel. I get some from YouTube for the advertising revenue, but I also get some that you can uh, help with directly. If you go to dcastler.com support, you'll see a tip jar, which is a one-time uh, deal, and uh, you can contribute as little as $1, although most are about 10 or 20. Uh, occasionally 50, I've gotten I think four $50 tips this month. Uh, must be a good month for giving. Um, also, uh, you can do a, a monthly tip via PayPal, or you can go to Patreon. It is true that PayPal takes less of a fee out of it than Patreon does. But Patreon is sometimes easiest because they have a very convenient ecosystem for patrons uh, to support. Plus, I can address uh, patrons directly. Now, I have to tell you that when I get a question from a patron through the patron system, Patreon system, I'll make sure it gets an answer. Um, and why not? I mean, that person is trying hard to help support the show. Um, I do have a problem that I cannot even begin to address all the comments that I get. And I know that when we did the video on the DX Commander, that a lot of you would very much have liked me to have seen your comments. I've got the gist, and we've got another video coming up on the DX Commander that will help address uh, some of those concerns. So until we next meet, 73.